what every man needs a giant animal skull on their desk. Well, for the last two weeks, I've been soaking the skull in Dawn dish soap and hydrogen peroxide, and it's come along pretty well. But it still has a little bit of a smell to it. These little grease spots here and there. But now that it's not super gross, I can take it over to the federal fishing game officers to get it registered. So I'm gonna go do that today. All right, we registered all the walrus parts. They drill a little hole in the top of the ivory and they put a little tag on them. But that walrus skull still has a bit of a smell. I think I'm gonna take that skull to a professional and see if they can give me any advice or help me get it to the next level. Well, it's been about a month and I'm gonna go pick up the walrus head and I've brought Becca along to make sure that it meets her approval. So I've been in this shop for uh, 47 years. So here's the walrus. It's smells Oh yeah, that definitely doesn't smell like walrus. Well, you happy with that? Yeah, they did a really good job. That was really nice of them. <sighs> Took a long time, but there you go. I need to build a shelf or something to put it up on the wall. But I think I'm just gonna keep it on my desk for a little while. What every man needs. A giant animal skull on their desk. So, <laughs> pretty happy with that.